I've always wanted to go to space. Space! Space! Gravity, why are you holding me back? Why are you holding me down? It's just like pushing down on me. I just want to go to space. How hard should it be? I just want to, I just want to go to space. So we rented a sensory deprivation tank. Basically, it's this pod filled with a thousand pounds of Epsom salts. You can float in it and experience what it's like to be weightless. You ready for this? <laughs> My jumpsuit game is like an onion. This is like layers upon layers. Opting out. Hashtag space womb. I mean hashtag send some out of space. So we went to San Jose because I got a ticket to the Vomit Comet. I had to get up at 6 a.m., so I was excited. A zero-g flight is an airplane that does parabolas, so it goes up really fast and then down really fast, so you get to experience what it's like to be weightless. I was really freaking nervous about it because a lot of people do throw up, and if you throw up, you have to get back in your seat for the rest of the flight. So basically, it'd be the most expensive vomit of your life, unless you like threw up into somebody's Gucci bag. For each parabola, you get about 30 seconds of weightlessness, and we did 15 of them, so I got about seven and a half minutes of glorious weightlessness. So without further ado, here's some footage of me having the freaking time of my life. So I was supposed to narrate this as it went, but I could get no intelligent commentary out of myself. Ah, I have no idea what to say. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. As the airplane is going up, you're laying down on your back and first you're getting heavier and heavier and heavier, but then you're getting lighter and lighter and lighter until you just float up. It was really like flying and your body doesn't really know what to do. Like. Your instinct is to just pedal, which is terribly ineffective. Oh my god! <laughs> they threw out some water and we got to catch some candy. So yeah, here we are. So going on the zero G flight was huge. Like I've been wanting to do it for such a long time and it was the wildest thing I've ever done. Like it was, it was like nothing I've ever experienced before. And I don't know about you, but I feel fully ready to go to space. So Richard Branson, I'm just waiting for you to call me. Call me. Shameless plug. I have no shame in my space game. Send Simone to space. Not Simone Biles. I mean, she seems nice and all, but 
Simone Yach, Gertz, whatever. Simone Dry Heave, Simone Can't Pronounce Yacht. That girl, me. I mean, otherwise I'll just have to build myself a rocket and I don't think any of us wants me to do that. It'd make for an interesting tombstone though, so that's something. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching DIY Astronaut. I had so much fun. How's this level of production value for you? Get used to it. Get used to it. Oh, oh gosh, you're gonna hate me. See you later, Goldie Squad. Simone is over and out. <laughs>